This week in Music Appreciation, we've been uh, covering the topic of virtuosity. What is a virtuoso performer? And um, it's a short, short chapter in the book. <clears throat> because it's a, a fairly direct uh, topic, I should say. But I've been trying to get into the heads of these kids what a virtuoso is. A virtuoso, you know, you have people that have skill... And then you have people with talent and those that can put them together and work really hard on both can become virtuosos. And um, so since we have some extra time this week, today is going to be a YouTube day. And the homework assignment was for each student to come up with two YouTube videos. One that shows a virtuoso that they're familiar with. And then the second video is supposed to be a virtuoso that they have discovered. So today in Music Appreciation, we're gonna have a little bit of fun and it'll be a great way to judge whether or not the students get the idea. Cause you know what they're gonna do. Most of them, they're just gonna have their favorite. Your favorite performer, your favorite musician may not be a virtuoso. I know that's hard for some of you to hear, but uh, it's probably true. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. So we're playing a little fast and loose on the music appreciation front today. Oh, by the way, um, I talked. One of the things we talked about was how um, the technique of music versus the. Oh, gosh, my vocabulary machine's broken. You know, the performance, the, uh, uh, starts with an E. What's the word? What's the word? The technique is the skill, obviously, and the, uh, exhibition? No, no, that's not it. I'll have to get back with you on that. But anyway, um, the, the heart, the soul, the emotion of music that comes through because you have the written music and then you have the performance of that music and every performance is different, every recording of is different. And I told the, the students that I remember seeing a video of robot hands playing a piano and how it was all very mechanical. It was exactly the same every time. But a human performer would put nuance and subtlety and interpretation and phrasing that a robot can't do. And then just this morning, I was just on YouTube kind of prepping for the day a little bit, and I found a robot band called Compressor Head. You've got to look them up. Compressor Head on YouTube. Um, they do rock and roll. There's a, a guitar player, a bass, and a drummer. The drummer has five arms. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, it's on YouTube. Compressor head with a C. One of the things I do um, for personal fitness and to kind of encourage the kids is I'm on a push-ups program. I don't know if I've talked about this before on my blog here. But um, from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, every hour on the hour, I have an alarm that goes off and I drop and do push-ups, personal fitness, you know, cardio, aerobic, whatever. And um, in August, I did 10 every hour. In September, I did 15 every hour. So now in September, what, October, I'm doing 20 every hour. And my alarm just went off, so I thought I would share this with you. And we're gonna flip the phone. I forgot my little stand, so I wonder if I set it right here. Let's see here. Can he do 20? Yes, he can.
And one more, just to be sure that I didn't, uh, you know, miscount. Okay. Did I do 20? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. 20 plus. I lost count because I was, I was nervous on camera. Well, today was a day, it was Thursday, and uh, 12 students in my fourth period class are SPED, special ed. I didn't realize it was 12 until they were counted today. That's part of the reason why it's a difficult class not that special ed kids are difficult, but some of the difficult kids I have are special ed. Does that make sense? I'm not against special ed kids in my classroom. The mainstreaming, mainstreaming special ed kids can be helpful and productive. Um, just an interesting sidebar. I moved the camera, so I'm getting, I'm too close. But um, I introduced uh, some couple tunes for Halloween this week. Uh, immigrant song from Led Zeppelin. It's kind of a Halloween vibe. And what was the other one? Uh, Young Wizards. Young. Oh, the cones are up still. I'm not used to leaving this early. It's not f quite four o'clock. And the cones are still up. So I gotta go out the other way. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so I introduced Immigrant Song and Young Wizards. Young Wizards was written under the inspiration of the book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In America, we could, that was titled Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. But in Britain, it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So the composer read that and was inspired to write a piece um, called Young Wizards. It's in three or four parts. So we worked on the first two today and they're not easy. Immigrant song is pretty easy. I mean, it's rock and roll. So, you know, transcribing that for a marching band is, is, isn't difficult. But this Young Wizards symphony is challenging just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, there's Matt, my tuba guy. He's walking home. Can't offer kids rides. No, no, no. That day is gone. If I see a student walking, I will not offer them a ride. Unless it's like maybe raining or there's a tornado coming or extreme situation because you can get in a lot of trouble for that these days. You know what? Here's a little story for you today. When I was in sixth grade, my band director took me out of school and drove me to the junior high to play with the junior high band. It was quite, I, I understood it was an honor and a privilege. And that was, I don't know how long, the whole school year, at least a semester, I suppose. I was interrupted by my push-ups alarm. I don't do push-ups when I'm behind the wheel. It's just, you know, logistically, ergonomically, it just is not feasible. So it's four o'clock and I'm going home. Uh, I'm going to load this up on YouTube. Hey, if you haven't subscribed or indicated that you like it, go ahead. If it's true, you know, don't, don't give it me a thumbs up if it's, if you don't want to give me a thumbs up. Uh, but, you know, subscribe. I mean, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not doing this professionally. I'm not putting any real effort into it. But it's kind of a silly thing I'm doing, trying to do a YouTube video every school day of the 2019-2020 school year. 
Now I'm getting on the freeway, so I'm gonna say goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye, I'm getting on the freeway.